Everything I have learned about being a hero, I have learned from anime. And all the animes I watch, the parts that get me really emotional, and I think that speak to me the most, are when the hero is willing to face the great evil and put everything on the line for people he cares about. Because he knows that in order for the others to survive, he has to fight the evil. This can be seen in multiple uh, scenes. If you watch older anime, Goku's always fighting the strongest bad guy. Uh, Ichigo, I think Ichigo's best fight, I was just reflecting on this. Ichigo's most badass fight, in my opinion. Ichigo, for those of you guys who don't know Bleach, is a swordsman uh, from the afterlife, essentially. It's a complicated story, but essentially he's a swordsman from the afterlife and he's a good guy. And he's fighting a demon called Orokia. And Orokia, these demons uh, also sword fight, and he's one of the top, I think, I believe he's a top four, one of the top four swordsmen of the demon world. And no one else in the world knows this, but when he's fighting, the guy, uh, the demon lets him know he's unlocked a form that no other demon has seen before. And he becomes stronger and faster. And he starts, he, he shifts into this form and he starts whooping the shit out of Ichigo. Right? It's not even it's not even a contest. Ichigo can't even see him. He's moving so fast. And it's not enough for this demon just to kill him, though. He wants to break Ichigo's spirit because if it's a it's a pride thing now. He wants to break his spirit. And so he's whooping the shit out of him, and Ichigo can't even see, and he's fucking getting his ass kicked. And finally the demon stops. He's holding up by he's holding him up by the neck and he's going, Why are you fighting me? You cannot win. Like I'm faster than you, I'm stronger than you. Why are you still fighting? And he goes, I'm not fighting you because I know I can win. I'm fighting you because I have to. Because in the palace, they have kidnapped his friend and he's, he's fighting all these demons to save his friend. Uh, long story short, Ichigo unleashes his dark side on this guy and is able to secure victory. But it's times like that where I was like, holy cow, that's that's pretty deep. Or there's times where uh, there's another great anime called My Hero Academia where the main character is fighting this more experienced evil dude and he's willing to sacrifice himself so that way this kid can get out of the way and like you can see him getting crushed under everything he's like run it's, it's stuff like that or uh the last one the most recent one which has great great animation for those of you guys who do not watch yet it's called demon slayer um i think this is season two or three um and tanjiro the main character the the they brought one of these top 10 swordsmen with them to handle one of the top six demons they're fighting over there and essentially the, the top 10 demon kills the swordsman and even in the face of all odds like he's not this is like an apprentice and he's trying to fight this master level demon um even in that he like at the very end his fingers are broken he's beat up from the battle he still tries to win um and if you haven't watched it i'm not going to spoil it for you so you go watch that and uh, it's it's really really inspiring stuff and it, I, I was thinking about that and i realized that to be a hero there are two parts Number one is that you have to be willing to face evil. You can't just run away. You have to be willing to face evil. So, or I guess in you got because we're not we're in a free world here. What that means for you guys is you have to be willing to face opponents who scare you. So that might be for Taekwondo. Um, and as a father, there's times, especially when we moved in, where we heard something go bump in the night. We live in townhomes, so we're not. I wasn't sure, but it's like well, that's kind of a scary thing. And I'm the one who got up and go went figure out there's no one in the house now for self-defense recommendations i don't recommend doing that uh, i've studied that a little bit more now but i was the one who was willing to face the evil so number one you have to be willing to face the evil but number two the part that really gets me inspired and the part that i really like more than anime more why i like anime more than marvel more than western comics more than anything else you could probably watch as a kid to inspire you to be great is that in anime they show the people training. They show Goku training. They show Naruto training. They show Ichigo training. They show Midoriya training. All these guys train their fucking asses off to become strong. Because if you're not strong enough to handle yourself, if you do not have excess of, of, of a good thing, strength, knowledge, uh, wisdom, money, then you can't save anyone else. If I only have enough money to save myself, if I only have enough money for food for myself, there's no way I can buy food for someone else and be their hero. If I'm not very smart and someone needs my advice, I can't give them the advice that could change their life. If I'm not strong enough to lift or like lift something, for example, 
I'm super weak and I can barely lift my myself or barely I can only barely lift the things that I need I, I can I need to do in life then there's no way I'm gonna be able to help someone else carry something really heavy so to be a hero you have to be willing to face great evil or face the opposition you have to be willing to train and build yourself into someone with excess so you can give it to others it's important that you have excess it's not just if, if one of those guys showed up, if any of those heroes, Naruto, whatever, they didn't train, they showed up in front of the bad guy and they went, oh, okay, I'm going to fight you. They'd get crushed. They're, they're an NPC. They're, they're just someone, they're a side character. Make yourself a main character by, um, by training and being someone who is valuable and capable. That's super important. And lastly, they're willing to give themselves to the cause. So underlying both of those, they're willing to give themselves for the cause. They're willing to die to protect their loved ones. So Dragon Ball Z, it's protecting Earth and protecting his family. Naruto is protecting the village. Bleach is protecting his friends. Midoriya is also protecting his friends. He's also literally taking the job of being a hero. Tanjiro, the same thing. Like he wants to find the, he needs to kill more demons to figure out how to save his sister. It's, it's, these guys have, are, heroes and they're looked up to by so many people around the world because they give their lives to the cause. They really believe in what they're talking about. They live it every day by training and they're willing to face opposition in pursuit of their goals. So if you want to be a hero, if you want to do that in real life, understand that that's what you got to do. You got to train. You got to be willing to face adversity, face strong adversity, and you have to be willing to give yourself for the cause. Well, that's the video for today, guys. And look, it's common throughout all. It's not even just in anime. Think about firefighters, for example. We we hail firefighters as heroes because if there's danger, there's super you know super hot fire. These guys super yoked. If you wanted, if you needed someone to come in and pull off a beam from your leg and then pull you out of a fire, if all the people who are capable of do it, firemen would be able to do it. Those guys are yoked. They're built. They're trained. They're ready to face danger in order to save you. And so you may not face danger on a regular basis in your life, but to be a hero, you have to be ready. And to do that, you got to train. So once again, guys, if you're watching anime, there's great lessons to take away from it, more so than I would say Marvel or all these other cartoons. And it's stuff that's awesome for your kids to watch because I was inspired to train from Naruto and Dragon Ball Z. And I'd be like, dude, if Naruto can start from zero, and end up becoming super strong, I can grow up to be super strong. And it also helped that I watched my dad train a lot. And watching my dad, I would watch my dad train and get stronger, and that inspired me as well. So if you guys want to be a hero, you got to train. You got to be willing to face adversity. That's the video for today. See you guys tomorrow.